Hello, 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 everyone. Um, as usual, let me know if uh, I did not delete my YouTube. Uh, <laughs> I will get to you in a moment. Um, no, uh, hi, welcome. We are going to sort out my um, flash. I got a lot of annoying homework to do. Um, but yeah, hi, welcome. Let me know as usual if my music is too loud. Um, I did change my YouTube channel name, so if you can't find it, it may be because of that. Um, I don't know if I've updated it on my on my bio. Um, I thought I did. Everything sounds good? Perfect, we love to hear it. Um, thank you, M Spectre. Anyways, let's do a roll call. Hello, Pi. Hello, M Spectre. Hello, TV Head. Hello, Cody. Hello, AC Twitch. 8113! <laughs> and a smooch? Mwah. Mwah. Mwah, 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 mwah. Um, also, the reason why I'm more so clown lately is because I'm in the middle. Exciting news, I'm in the middle of redesigning my TV head. She will look similar. Um, I just kind of want to give her a little bit of a refresh because it's been a few years. Um, and I've slowly been also redesigning my clowns. Um, I don't know, I just, I feel, been feeling really inspired. It's really great to work in a field like I do, um, where everyone is always kind of like working on something new and improving. And I, it's really easy for me to kind of have that feeling fall over into everything else. Um, yeah, so it's really exciting. Um, I'm glad that you guys, um, are as excited as I am. So, um... Yeah, like her TV is gonna, like her head's gonna be pretty much the same. I just don't know how to dress her. I just don't know how to dress her. Um, I will figure it out though. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> Anyways, um, I am offering a hundred dollar Tamagotchi flash at work, and I've been getting a lot of um, people just kind of asking, like, "Oh, are you gonna do this Tamagotchi, that Tamagotchi?" And I have like more. I don't want to say advanced, but I have bigger and like funnier Tamagotchi and more custom stuff. Um, but I wanted to give people more of an option because there's obviously interest for it. So this is what I've gotten. TV head says dress like Ooh La La from Space Show 5. You know what? I was, I was thinking. <laughs> um, I, I definitely want to do something. It's hard because I think Retro Wave really suits her, but I also really like like retro futurism. So, who knows? Maybe I'll, I'll dress this character up. Like, ooh, shit, I'll do that. Um, AC Twitch says, man, I got a lot of other yik streams to catch on. We still gotta beat that game. I started getting achievements and I didn't really want to waste everyone's time fucking around getting the pogs. Um, but I definitely hope to get back into that. But yeah, so what I'm doing today is I have these sheets, basically we'll call them, where um, I just showcase all my flash like on uh on instagram and stuff or social media like twitter um but i gotta like set it up uh it's annoying as shit and i hate doing it alone make her wear a dress but it's just a bunch of polaroids of 2d it's funny you say that not that it would be a dress but i've been designing i'm gonna get my boss to tattoo the rest of my arm the arm that has my 2D um, tattoo on it. We're just gonna do a 2D, uh, 2D sleeve. I think that's where it's going. And we're also gonna have Jimmy Freebie from Foo Action with his basketball head. And uh, a few other characters that, like the uh, the weird blue cat. Yeah, oops, all 2D, it's true, it's true. Um, but yeah, so after I do all of this, I have to go back to this page. Actually, I'll probably just do it now. Um, so we're gonna... No, I didn't wanna completely... Yes. So I like having a colored line art version of these as well. Um, I'll show you what I mean. That's not what I wanted to open. Open. So here's what we have for the original Tamagotchi Flash. Um, as you can see, like I don't outline in yellow because I think that would be really cruel, but all of these kind of hold up, um, at, like over time in terms of colors. 
So I'm gonna be making a version of that for these guys. I've got my color palette at the bottom here. Um, and if, I don't know, if any of you guys have suggestions, I guess, you're more than welcome to uh, join in. Thank you, I, I finished these up while finishing up the show The Curse. Um, so they're forever gonna be associated with that. I love this duck. He's one of the original Tamagotchis. And like, I know people are more familiar with kind of, not the really old ones and not the really new ones, just kind of the mid-tier, but oh, this is a solid design. Wouldn't change a thing. He is beautiful. I also really like the tomato guy. I've never encountered tomato guy. Um, sorry, I'm making plans with my dad right now. Um, so I wanted to make sure he's, he's good. Um, I also like this guy. He reminds me a bit of like a dust bunny. I'll, I'll tell him you said hi, uh, Pi. I'll, I'll let him know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love this Halloween guy. He's great. Again, wouldn't change a thing. This one kind of reminds me of Piglet. Uh, the more I colored it, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Tamagotchi Piglet. Um, I know this dog was getting a lot of hype. Um, he was already in my folder for things to draw. So when I saw that he was kind of circulating recently, because they were like, oh, he's made perfect. This one has big Mr. Peanut Butter energy, though. Um, I think... I, I So for these ones, my, my train of thought was... Um, I've noticed that I'm also getting uh, noticed by people who maybe aren't familiar with Tamagotchi. So I wanted to pick ones that are like less like silly little guys. So I think the dogs might be appealing to like just a normal person. <laughs> I don't want to say normal, that's not nice. But like, you know what I mean? Like someone who maybe isn't really into video games, but would like one. It's true. Uh, they are just silly little guys. And like, I like adding to them. Like this one doesn't have a blue shirt. And this guy doesn't have any shading on him, but I think like it just works. You know what I mean? Um, and it also adds. This is my corporate brain. My apologies, but it adds value um, to it. So and like this guy's supposed to be red, but I have too many like pink and red ones. So I was like, we gotta even that out. Um, I'm glad you all agree that they're they're such little guys. They're cute little babies. I had to get this poo guy because he had stars for cheeks and I was like, I gotta draw that. He's so cute. Um, this one, I don't know if anyone will ever claim her. I, I, this is actually something that I drew a long, long time ago. And I was like, ah, I'll throw it on the sheet. It's, it's still a Tamagotchi, but um, everyone knows him. Classic McDonald's toy. We love him. I think that one's going to be the first one to go once I like release these. I think he'll be the first. Oh yeah, you gotta draw poop guy. I'm glad you understand. I'm glad you understand. You gotta draw the poop guy. Um, so what I'm gonna do right now is we're gonna change the opacity of that. We're not gonna keep it that way, of course, but we're gonna change it. I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you. Um, wait, where's my color picker? Um. So I like doing the color line art ones. So we're gonna do those because it's pretty, it's easy, but it's like tedious. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it looks nice. It will not stay that way though. <laughs> I like that my ex bought me Sonic Colors and I just, I've never played it. I should probably fix that, but. I just haven't. I don't know. I want to. This is gonna sound silly, but as much as I love Sonic, all the games are so hard. <laughs> and like, sometimes I'll be like, oh, I really want to play that. And I'm like, oh, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard in a dumb way. I don't think you can... He's charged up. He's activated. <laughs> That's what's happening. That's what's happening. They are go slow games advertised as go fast games. It's true. I would say there's some truth to that. Um, Cause I find like you'll be going really fast and there's lots of shitty barriers. I've had a few friends who don't play video games very often say that they're really put off by Sonic games because of that. And honestly, 
I can't argue with them. I totally get it. Um... Oh, yeah, there it is. Um, all of our ink at the shop that I work at um, got stolen recently. And we've been, like, trying to, like, recover from that. So I, it also kind of helps that these are limited colors so that we can save up to buy more ink. Um, yeah, it was a really shit situation. I won't, like, get, like, too much into it. But, um, yeah, it, it's... It's been difficult because, like, I'll have clients who, like, want to come in for, like, a touch-up. And then I'm like, okay, I don't have that color anymore. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's a little embarrassing. But where did my music go? We are at X3. Is it like right here? All right, all right. AC Twitch says, fun fact, I own Tamagotchi for... Ooh! Um, I don't have Tamagotchi for Game Boy, but I have a Japanese game, and it is where you take care of a hamster, very similar to Tamagotchi. Um, and I'm not very good at it, because I don't speak Japanese, and he bites me a lot, so that sucks. But, um, you know, it's fun. We have fun here. TV Head says, what the hell is wrong with people? Yeah, it's, it's actually a problem right now. It seems to be, um, it seems to be a reoccurring thing, not with my shop, but like, uh, in, in my city, it's like all of the studios have been hit up recently. Um, it's, it's not great. We think it's a bunch of teenagers or like kids. Um, and we think that we were just targeted because we were close to the other one that was targeted. Um, it sucks. It sucks. And like... My, my machine, um, I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter, but for those who do, I was talking kind of recently about how my machine was dying. It died mid-tattoo the other day, and we didn't have a spare machine because they all got stolen. So, that was bad. Um, and I had to, I was hoping to, s oh, did I die? I died. Come back. It was so sad that I died. But I'm back now. Um, it's still sad. But um, yeah, so what happened was um, my machine died mid tattoo. I was two, well not mid, I was two lines in and then it was, it was done. It just really quietly, very slowly just boo, powered down. I was like, fuck. Um, so that sucks. Uh, my boss, she's incredibly lovely. They went out and bought me a machine. I still owe them money, but um, that wouldn't have happened at the last place I worked. It was... If I wasn't frantically in the middle of helping a customer and tattooing them, I probably would have cried. Um, it's still $600 I don't have, but um, I'm happy that I we were able to do that because we live actually in an area that um has a tattoo supply store um so like thank god for all of that and my boss drives thank god for all of that but still it was very embarrassing and it was me just like i bought coffee for my client they were very sympathetic um but yeah it's it's been a lot of ups and downs it's been insane so yeah there was um, it was all of that, and what else? Oh, the girl, um, who bullied me got fired, so that was funny at the old shop. Um, and, you know, karma, what, what you dish out, you get back, and, you know, that's all I gotta say about that. There's a lot of real juicy details that just make the situation, like, more funny, in my opinion, but it is what it is. Um, I just, it's one of those things where, yeah, it, we love to see it. <laughs> um, the new location that I work at is so lovely. Um, 
it's what I was hoping for when I first got into this. Um, it's, it's such an amazing feeling to have people who don't know who you are come into the shop and get excited to see what you've put up on the board. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's incredible. I, I don't even know how to word it. Um, it, it feels like all of it's like worth it. Whereas at the old shop, I had my stuff like posted and I had my portfolio at, and people would greet me because I would just sit behind the, um, the receptionist area if I wasn't doing anything. And they'd be like, oh, which, which book is yours? And I'd be like, oh, mine's that one. And then they'd pick it up and they would just like, mm, like they would like cringe at it. And I'm like, what the hell? It hurt my feelings. Um, well, let's see if that helps. Um, but yeah, here it's definitely more like my, I don't want to say my customer, but people who would like my stuff. I did not build my, my old machine. Um, so my old machine, it was on the cheaper end. It was a good middle tier. I didn't want something that was super cheap, um, that I would be kind of fighting with while I was learning. And I also didn't want to learn how to use a really bad one. So then when I got a really good one, it was like hard um and it was uh it's one of the machines it doesn't have the rca it literally has like a usb cable on it um it's a rotary machine so it's not like a big coil one and it's not heavy or anything my new one is a bit heavier and it has a battery pack on it that has the rca jack um so like if the battery dies i can plug it into the wall and i'll be okay um Casey! Casey, hello, 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 welcome! Welcome, hello! Hi, how are you? I am good! I am good! We are catching up and learning and all becoming friends again after I was away. <laughs> um... But yeah, TV Head says, Oh, what the hell, your art is super fucking cool. Thank you. And I feel like my art can kind of bring some new stuff to the tattoo scene. And I know in Toronto they really liked it. But in this small town, it's kind of a harder se uh, sell. Because a lot of people want, like, stuff that is not, um, good. <laughs> I'm not, uh, that's not no shade to other tattoo artists. It's just a lot of people want things that I wouldn't normally do. Like, I get a lot of fine line. I get a lot of, like, uh, a lot of people at the old shop, um, which I found out they weren't booking me people because I was too slow. And I'm like, dude, I'm learning. I'll get faster if you, if you let me tattoo. Like, that's, that's how that works. I don't know. I got a lot of hang-ups about that place. Um, but anyways, yeah. So, um, I did a lot of fine line and cursive because that's what they, like, market me as. And, like, I don't mind doing it, of, of course. And I like any sort of project, especially if it's kind of a little bit out of what I would choose to do myself. Um, but that being said, it was, they were giving it to me out of, maliciousness because they knew I wanted to illustrate and I felt really underutilized there because it was like dude like I can I maybe not can't I maybe can't draw like you know a, a realistic tiger but I can draw you an illustrative tiger like I did this dove tattoo it was like a memorial tattoo um for this guy and no one wanted to do it like the request came in and they were just gonna let it sit and not talk to him. So I was like, dude, I'll fucking do it. I'll draw a bird. And like, I don't mind doing stuff like that. I like doing stuff like that. And the guy was so happy. And uh, he let me kind of do my own take on it. But in a way where it was like illustrative, but not cartoony. And like, those are the projects I like. Like, I'm not expecting everyone to get a Tamagotchi or, um, you know, a gorilla's themed tattoo or stuff that, you know, or my characters or whatever. But like, utilize me i'm there i can draw things i can draw a lot of things you know i don't want to be the person who just does fucking cursive for everyone and i hated it because like there would be men um not to shit on men but like they would be like oh cursive's only done well if it's done by a woman and i'm like first of all i'm non-binary 
but it was just like, uh, don't, uh, I don't know, it's slow but better at drawing. Exactly, Th thank you, thank you, Pi. Also, hello, token duelist, hello, hello, hello. Um, TV Head says, if I was up in Canada, I'd get some ink from you, and I'm not typically into getting ink. Thank you, I've, I've actually tattooed a few of my family members now, who again, very similar, they don't have tattoos or they don't want tattoos but they were like I will get a little something from you and they all picked stuff that like really kind of caters to um you know like what what I can do like I I did a, a Star Wars tattoo it was a Mandalorian tattoo uh it's not finished because it's quite big but it's almost finished I think maybe it's like got another half hour to go um my uncle's diabetic though and his skin couldn't take it he was bleeding um but, uh, like, his skin got tired. That's the other weird thing. You learn a lot about skin really fast. Um, which is interesting and also kind of spooky. Um, but, uh, it's healing really great. So I'm really excited to just go in and touch up those last few lines and call it a day. But, like, those are, those are the projects that I want. I want to be able to, you know, get some subject matter. Like, as soon as I look at it, I'm already figuring out how to draw it. Um... Casey said, hearing about the bullshit you had to go through at the last place made me so mad. And TV Head said, big same for me too. Thank you uh, for being back. Um, it's reassuring because there was definitely times where I was like, am I making a big deal of this? Um, my partner, Neil, he was constantly like, these people are bullying you. Like, these people aren't nice to you. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Like, maybe I'm over overthinking this. He goes, no, they hate you and they're mean to you. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I don't know. Um, it's, it's hard, because, like, you have to play nice. Um, there was also way too many of us. There was eight artists. So it was just, like, good luck. And some of them were so, like, they would strong arm and people booking with them. Like, I was literally in the middle of talking to a woman, and my coworker walked up and was like, yeah, if you ever feel like booking, here's my business card. It's like, bro, I'm showing her my Instagram portfolio and pages. What are you doing? So, like, there was a lot of, like, that shit. Um, and, and a lot of people resonate with the slow but better at drawing thing because I was tat- the, the tattoo where my machine died, um, the- I mentioned something like that. Like, I did warn the person, I'm like, hey, like, I am a little slower because I'm still, like, new, blah, blah, blah. And they were like, well, I'd rather you take your time and it looks good than it being a 30-minute tattoo. And I was like, you know what? Solidarity. <laughs> Thank you. And their tattoo took only an hour and a half. Ha, 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 ha. Except it took like four hours because my machine died and I was waiting for my boss to come back with a new machine. But when we were actually on skin, <laughs> it took no time at all. Um, Pi says, LMAO, I saw your old coworkers shit. Yeah, it was, uh, well, it sure was <laughs> my mom. As some of you know, I don't have the, the best relationship with. Um, but because we live in the same town, I have been reaching out to her and talking more with her and stuff like that. She called one of my coworkers... <laughs> she called one of my coworkers tattoos hateful. Um, which I... That's my favorite adjective <laughs> for, for some of the stuff that came out of there. And my family, like, hate watches my old shop's account because they were, like, they'll, like, call me now. And they're, like, oh, my God, did you see what this person just posted? Oh, my God, it's so bad. And I'm, like, no, 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 I don't want to see it. It upsets me to look at it. It bums me out because, like, I, I lost, I think, two or three clients who were supposed to come with me. But, like, they, the day that I had to leave, I left in, like, the middle of the night. It fucking sucked. Like, dumb. But, uh, and, like, they were, like, people's friends who, like, worked there. So for me to be, like, hi, I don't work there anymore. Do you want to get a tattoo elsewhere? It was, like, they already booked, like, through my coworker. They didn't book through me, so I didn't even have their information. And it sucked because I saw that one of my old coworkers did one of my designs for the client that booked with me that I wasn't allowed to work with. And I was, like, fuck you, man. I was, like, you know, if this person, like, genuinely wanted to work for me... They would come and they would find me, you know what I mean? Like, I, I can't be too mad about it. It is what it is. Um, K 
Casey says, I've said it for a while now. Whenever I visit the land of Canada, I gotta get a tattoo from you. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I'm hoping to get back to Toronto um, within the next few years. Like, if not next year, like the year after. Um, 20, 2026 is like my goal. Um, so I'm hoping things kind of like get better. <laughs> Um, they're not, they're not terrible right now, but of course everything can always be better. Um, Token Duela says, my best friend is looking to get a tattoo in the near future, though she's already booked for one. She did say she'll keep any suggestions in mind for other artists. Ooh. I know I'm a little far from Toronto right now, but like, I'm hoping to do guest spots. My boss wants to do like, um, guest spots where she, um like all three of us kind of like visit a location um just so that we can like kind of close the shop but we're all making money sort of thing i don't know i i like that because she's like well we can write it off as like a business expense to travel make connections reach out to other customers elsewhere and stuff and i think i'm gonna do really well at this shop because everyone is very like proactive in like doing things like this whereas like at the old shop I wasn't really allowed or it was frowned upon to guest spot outside of the chain and it's like the chain wasn't in any spots that anyone wanted to go to so they're all in like small towns um but yeah and oh hello hostile hippo welcome long time no see they say loki was hyped you got your justice and found something better you deserve it thank you thank you it was one of those things where again at the time i felt kind of sick when it was all happening all at once like i was in the middle of selling at a fucking art show and i just my phone just blows up and i'm like i gotta i'm no longer welcome in my place of work for something dumb like it, ugh, it sucks but um it's one of those things where like like my my friends wanted to get involved and I said no I'm like don't bother it doesn't matter these people think that they've won these people think that they've they're in the right let them think that you know it's not it's not worth it with people like that at that point <laughs> TV had saying well but sure was some ink on some skin oh it's bad um TV had or sorry um Pi saying, can't you get them in trouble for stealing your work? That's the thing, is that they didn't copy it one for one, and I do respect... I respect that they respected not to do that, because they easily could have. Um, because the art was in the DMs for, like, the public page and stuff like that. Because that's where the person was talking to me, was on, like, the, uh, Old Studios Facebook page, not even my DMs. Um, so they could have. They didn't, but it was still very close, and that sucked. But, I don't know, I can't be, can't be mad about it. Um, also, hello, John. Oh, my God. It's our it's our boy, John Bond. It says, working, unfortunately, homie, but lurking. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you for lurking. Um, and, yeah, it's all just kind of like... Um, you know, it's... Like, TV Head says, yeah, fuck them haters. You're living now. It's, it's all like... People hate to see you win when they're jealous, you know what I mean? Like, I, it sucked, cause I, I just wanted to share and talk about art and be excited to do art. And everyone, I, I could tell just found it annoying and it was like, oh, okay, okay, I guess. So I really like where I am now because they're also excited to shout about art. Um, Jealousy just looks really ugly on everyone, and I think we should be more uplifting to each other. There's no reason to be mean, and everyone is... I kept at the old studio... Sorry, it's kind of like a bit of a vent thing. <laughs> at the old studio, I, I used to constantly be like, you know, we should uplift everyone. Like, if something comes in and like I'm like, oh, that person would be really good at it, you should work with this artist. But then I was finding out that no one was ever suggesting me. Um... So I was helping other people connect with their clients, even through the Facebook page. I'd be like, oh, hey, so-and-so, this person wants to talk to you. But um, I had a client talk to me through the Facebook page. And someone else opened up the DM and started talking to them. So I had the artwork ready to go. And I even went through it with them in person. And when they messaged the Facebook page, um, 
another person scooped them up and did the artwork for me. So it looked like I got no-showed by this person. And then they came in and they're like, oh yeah, I got an appointment. But they didn't say it was with me or anything like that. And then this other person, I don't know. It was, I didn't like the system. It felt like everything I had to do there, I was like fighting for my life. And I don't want to be in an environment like that. Yeah, you deserve a shout out, Casey. We love you. And thank you so much for the raid. You're lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about uplifting. It's uplifting your friends, your fellow coworkers, everything. I don't know. I'm a Libra, so I'm very <laughs> So I'm very like diplomatic, like and I remember like I used to just be like, okay, well, in the office we would do this, and then like the other coworkers would be like, well, I could never work in an office. And I'm like, honestly, you shouldn't be working with people in general. <laughs> like, ugh. Um, if you want the tea on why I got booted, it's really funny, actually. Um, it's because we were talking about, um, we had some real dog shit reviews about the, the place and the staff and the staff's attitude. And I said, you know, somebody said something like along the lines of, it would be really sad if someone, you know, wanted to leave because they didn't like working here because of these things. And I said, well, I'm leaving because I feel like this place is embarrassing and unprofessional. And then everything went to shit. And it's like, you can't open up the floor and then throw tomatoes at me. Like, come on. Um, and that's the other thing is, is like, a token duelist says, understandable toxic work environments are the worst. And it was, it was awful because it was just like, um, it didn't make me want to draw. Like, I would sit in my room and I would draw, but, like, I couldn't finish anything. My brain was elsewhere. I was just telling myself every day, like, this isn't forever. <laughs> like, uh, No one wants to, like, go to work and, and fucking hate it. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm going to go to work the, every day, I better have some redeeming qualities to be there. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Token Duel saying, we should do better here. All right, grab the tomato basket. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, Pi's saying it. Pi's saying it. I, I actually got in trouble um, for talking about this publicly, but like, because my, my old boss was like, um, it doesn't look professional when you say that. Don't make it sound like a charity case. And it's like, I worked five days a week in a row and I got paid for none. If we didn't have any customers, I was not paid to be there, but I had to be there. And I had to do all of the closing tasks, opening tasks, cleaning, um, and just pray to God that maybe someone comes in. And most of the time I was getting really small projects that were not worth anything. And that's no shade to my customers or clients or anything like that. That was just the nature of the place and it sucked. Um, <laughs> Pi says, it doesn't sound professional, not fucking pay your employees. It's true. Casey says, yeah, fuck that shit. If I'm not getting paid, I'm not lifting a damn finger. M Spectre says, that is in or sa that sounds insane, honestly. Yeah, it's uh, it was rough. Neil says, yeah, insane. Good way to put it. Also, hello, Neil. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Honestly, you can get them in huge shit with the labor board if they weren't considered a contractor. It's true. It's so funny because he would consider us like a contractor and then like... When push came to shove, he'd be like, oh, actually, and it's like, I guess, like, I don't know. Uh, uh, also, anyways, TV Head said, uh, if Pluto was a Tamagotchi, what would they look like? Probably a mouse. Like, human me, definitely a little mouse. Neil and I were talking about that, and Franz and I. I just love little mice. I'd be a little little cute mouse or a little bunny. Bunny with floppy ears. Like I'd I'd probably look like this one. Cute. Um, I'm not really liking the color story here. I guess it's the same here. I don't have any purple ones. That's the problem. Okay, let's make let's make some purple guys. William Afton mentioned purple man. Sorry, purple guy. Uh, 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 uh. Hostile Hippo says that's such a surprise Pikachu face moment. Holy heck. It's true. 
Illegal tip horn set and a guy yakking trees. Nice. Love that for you guys. We love to horns when it's open. So where I live, um, who should be purple? Maybe the panicked one should be purple. Um, where I live, there's this Tim Hortons that says it's open 24-7. It is not. Is not. Um, if you drive, it is. But otherwise, the dining room isn't. And there's no dining room, um, like, hours, which super suck. Well, love is a strong word. It's true. We don't, we don't really love it. All right. So I was like, why does it look so weird? Yeah, the dining room hours are when they feel like it. I've definitely shown up and it's just been locked. Just locked. Um, I feel like we got to change. We got a lot of orange. I think, I think she should be, pur oh, Pooh should be purple. Pooh should definitely be purple. I think people are more likely to get it if it's a purple poo. I wish I could poo purple. You heard it here, folks. I was about to overshare. You know what? Fuck it. I will overshare. Um, I had orange, bright orange pee when I had a kidney infection. Um, in college, I almost lost my kidney because I got really sick. But I'm better now. Um, and yeah, they put me on medication. It was just like bright orange. Yeah, it was big cringe. Look at Cloud wants to poop purple more. <laughs> it's true, I want to poop purple. I want to pee orange and poop purple. Let's go. I honestly think this screaming guy should also be purple. One of the dogs should maybe be purple. We like this guy. He looks like he should be purple. He's gonna be purple. Leftmost dog, this one? This one should be purple? And cry lime green. Yeah, it's true. TV head sees the vision. Okay, I'll make this one purple instead. Um. I'd probably freak out if I pooped for farm, Casey says. Pi says, if you want to be the limited edition Heinz comment. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, those were nasty. I mean, like, they weren't nasty in the sense that they tasted like ketchup, but... Yeah. A bit of an oversight. I hated that every time I went to eat it, everyone... None left. <laughs> Non-pizza left. Don't tell people that, Neil. Don't, don't be writing that in my chat. <laughs> Shrek mustard, hell yeah. Did we have Shrek mustard? I hated when everything had Shrek on it, and I think it's really weird that people are, like, excited that Shrek is, like, back. Because, like, I remember not enjoying Shrek to that amount. I think the cat needs to be purple. I know he's green, but I think... I think he's got to be purple. Shrek is my enemy. Oh, I thought... Yeah, Neil's enemy? Yeah. I understand you, Neil. I got the cup. Okay, the cups are good, though. I just kind of meant more food. I, I mean, I guess I kind of meant, like, the stuff that also came along with it. I think the cups are good. Okay, but a Tamagotchi, a Shrek Tamagotchi? Very cute. I, I think I'd be okay with that. Casey says, one time back in the day, my mom used that blue toilet cleaner stuff, and I didn't look before I went pee, and it was green. <laughs> okay, that's looking better. Um, we got four, five, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... What would a Pluto Tamagotchi look like? You mean like, other than I would be a mouse? Or like the TV head? I think the TV would be like really cute. Um, if 
if I can for a second. This is going to be really bad because it's, we don't want that brush. We want, there's no stabilization. I hate drawing in Photoshop, so bear with me. Um, I think it would be like, I love this song. It would be like down like that. No, I want the legs to be really wide. Yes. Girl, work. She's cute. That would be the TV one. And then like a mouse, I'd be, I'd want like cute eyes. And like, no, yeah, but like, I want like, you know, oh, a little bit of hair, and then like a really long tail, but then I'm like, like that, you know. I'm eating taco apple pie. Oh, you got like the apple, is it the chalupa? You know what, I'm gonna save these. I'm gonna... I was cooking. Anyways, goodbye. I wanna say goodbye. Minimalist ham ham, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Token Doula says, I will buy a Shrek Tamagotchi if I can get a four quad one. And the majority of the sprite is just his head. <laughs> you work. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, we will. We will put them there. Um. Hmm. We have like. What is it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Wait, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight pink ones. Um, I think we need to do one more purple. Should this one be purple maybe? Or maybe this one? I think this one might sell better. I think I can actually sell the other one as pink and blue. I think this one needs to be purple. more balanced. Sorry, I could have done that on a white background, but I did not. Um, I think that looks better. That's something I wanted. I guess the blue is like a little different. I use like a turquoise-y. Um, there we are. Let's change this. Yes, oh, that looks 10 times better. Cool, 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 cool. Love it. Adorable. All right, time to put these fuckers um, aside. I'm biased. I love turquoise. I like turquoise too. Um, I just, I just don't like it as kind of like an outline. Like I think this is like more fun. Um, I wish I could do more colored line art tattoos. I think they look really cool. Um, I don't think something should be like colored in without an outline. Uh, I think that can be hit or miss uh, in terms of like tattoo aging, but um, overall, 
I think, uh, I think, like, a little guy drawn in a different color could be really cute. My friend Holden has a little, uh, blue bug on him that I really like. Just like a crudely drawn bug with cowboy boots. I love him. We might have too many Tamagotchis for this sheet. That's okay. This one's just for the social media. I often say, everyone loves a little guy. It's true. Man, sorry. I'm gonna talk about my old coworker for a second. Um, without getting too detailed. Um, one time, they had my art pulled up, like, on the computer. And they called me over. And it was, like, the one of, like, it's, like, the self-portrait. I used it for a giveaway once. Um, I can probably pull it up. I'll show you. I'll show you, I'll show you. Uh, it was this picture. They had it pulled up on the computer. And they were like, Pluto, can you come here for a second? And I was like, sure. And they just had this up. And then they were like, why are her boobs pointy? And I was just like, is, I don't know. I just want to draw them that way. And she was like, oh, okay, okay. And it was just like, she had the same energy as, um, as that old lady who, like, asks, like, have you ever been to Krispy Kreme? Was it crispy? Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's, that's the thing is that these people, the, they were not artists. They just tattooed. And, like, it was, like, shit like that where I was just, like, I I didn't want to read too much into it because I knew it would hurt my feelings. Oh, it almost looks like she's being intimidated by Kuchapachi and this dog. She's like, no, Mr. Peanut Butter, go away. My social battery is low. I do not want to endure any more yapping. I get it, girl. I get it. I like this guy. It's weird. She is bullied just like you. No! No, I don't want to be bullied. No more bullying. I'm out of my <laughs> narrator, but more yapping was about to happen. No bully. No bully. No bully zone. That's here, baby. Uh, the sheet is looking really pink. We gotta get another guy in here. Oh, my eye is itchy. My eye is itchy. Mm. I'm trying to save up for one of those cameras so you can detect my, my hands as well. So you can see when I'm scratching the shit out of my eyes or taking off my glasses, except I'm not taking off my glasses because I don't think it could do that, but that would be funny if it could. Um, you know. Uh... Cool, I'm hanging out with dad tomorrow. That's exciting. I'm not dying, I was taking a drink. I got iced coffee. Not from Illegal Tim's because they won't let anyone in. Literally illegal. Um, I guess I kind of want a blue guy. We've got all the, the bottom row. How do I do the thing? I know how to do the thing. I'm just... There. There. That makes everyone's life easier, kind of. Oh shit, oh shit, I got a story for you guys about the old studio. It's funny. So, uh, we had this one artist who would just not show up. She would book people, but she wouldn't show up. I got a few clients that way. Um, and like the artwork was like made up and everything, and the artwork wasn't even hard. It was normally like script or something. Anyways, this one guy came in and he wanted the Sons of Anarchy Reaper. And the artist didn't show up. Oh my god, so... 
a different artist took it and he was new but he draws everything like from scratch but he can't draw well and um i was watching him try and make a stencil in ms paint like he's got like <laughs> like i'm i don't even how in this day and age do you not know how to like he would bring his laptop every day to work and then i was watching him make a stencil in ms paint and i was like what are you doing and he was trying to it looked really big of course on his screen but he didn't understand resolution so i printed out really small and he goes i fucking hate computers da, 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 da. i'm just like okay um so and then i and then i caught him trying to trace his um laptop screen so that was also really good um lots of excitement at that store all the time yeah oh no is that it's it that's that's for sure <laughs> And again, um, I I try not to shit on like other people, but for those who don't know, um, these people bullied me out of the shop for, they were bullying me for a really long time. And then it was just kind of like, everything kind of hit the fan all at once. Um, we had a staff meeting that went over like a lead balloon and I was the only one who didn't get in trouble. So I was public enemy number one, hooray. Hooray for doing my job and being nice to customers. Did I try to help him? Yes. Um, I mean, I was also in the middle of tattooing myself, but I I was like, oh, try this, try that or whatever. But it was kind of like, it was like, he, it was a four hour tattoo because he was like fucking around with everything. And he charged him the full four hours. Like it was a really expensive tattoo and it, it did not look like an expensive tattoo. Um, yeah, and like that's the other thing is that I found that people at the old shop would fight me on my pricing, but would be totally okay with it if like a male coworker wanted to price stuff like that. And I once had a different coworker give someone a quote for my work, and I was doing a tattoo that was very complex for like two hundred dollars, and it was fifty fifty split, so I only made a hundred dollars on it, and it fucking sucked. So, and the payment, the split is, is much better at the new shop and everything is just, they used to work at the old shop. So they know all of the, the horrors that I had been through. So they're very sympathetic. They understand. And that's how they've used it to improve their shop. And, uh, I think it's great. And I'm really excited to never be put in a position like that again, where someone speaks on my behalf and fucks me over because everyone... Like, that's the other thing is that, like, the general public will be like, oh, it's a simple design, and then they'll show you something that is absolutely not simple if you were to tattoo it. And it's just like, uh, I guess. I guess it's simple. Like, there are some things that, like, every tattoo artist should kind of know how to do. Like, you know, everyone should know how to do a rose or a butterfly or a skull, because you get that a lot. You get those a lot. You should know cursive. You should understand stuff like that. Um... Uh, Hustle Hippo says, I feel that though about not bashing. I try not to judge other artists, but I feel like some of that is some basic things you should know in that kind of professional environment. Yep, yep, we're saying the same thing, my friend. Um, that would make me very uneasy, not gonna lie. I agree, I agree. There was some stuff. So, when I said that I was embarrassed to work there and I felt it was unprofessional, um, one of the things, let me see. I'm yapping, I gotta save. Uh, on my computer. Um, but yeah, so one of the things was, um, we had a woman in the middle of the night, she messaged us and she asked like, um, do you have someone who can do this cover up? And it was a big piece on her chest. It was really unfortunate and I can see how this could cause someone mental anguish. And, um, of course it was the middle of the night and we do have some people who kind of take advantage of the fact that some of us don't sleep and, um, they'll expect people to be online at like, you know, 3am or something. So sometimes it's kind of like, depending on what it is, maybe you want to wait until the morning to answer. However, we had one guy who it was like, he never slept. He was always answering people. And like he would answer them in a way where it was like as if no other artist worked with him. Like if he couldn't do it, he would just tell a person, no, I can't do it. 
And it was like, well, this person doesn't know they're talking to one person. You're talking to them on the business account, you know? Um, and so anyways, yeah, he, uh, he turned someone away, which he, who he didn't need to. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get rid of this and put the sun in here. I think that's what we need to do. Sorry, that's the ADHD. Um, or we could put the poop there. Ooh, buddy, let's put the poop there. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so um, my one coworker who kept answering people at all sorts of hours and was taking all the projects, um, he messages her back. All he says is, it's gonna be big, or it'll have to be big or something like that. And then I, I couldn't believe that he just like, shrugged it off like that have a good one tv head thank you so much for joining and for hanging out i love to see you we should hang out sometime i have more free time now i'm so excited oh my god i love you be good be good yeah yeah, yeah. i will definitely hit you up i definitely want to do stuff i miss you i miss you all honestly that's why i'm trying to make more of an effort i wanted to stream during the weekend but i it was just way too fucking hot and um, the AC is kind of loud and, and near me, so I didn't want to have it on in the background. But I feel like you guys would understand. Yes, look at this little poo guy. Poop, 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 poop. Poop, poop, poop. I love him. That's right, you thought I was going to say I love poop? You're wrong. I just love him. I think these guys could be adjusted. Does this mean we can finish off sad playback? What? 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 I like that Pi says my, my rule of thumb is, would be if I can, if I, the customer can draw it, it's gotta be easy. Otherwise it's no. Um, I, I find a lot of people are kind of ink master pilled. They like, they get really mad about something or really like they get like kind of like shitty about it and it's just like this is a lot harder than you think it is like i don't know there's a lot you gotta know about tattooing that a lot of people just like see it's been long enough you don't remember sad boyfriend hours i don't <laughs> i'm sorry listen if it had anything to do with the previous people that were in my life, I'm I'm gonna be here's a little here's a little real moment. Um, I'm so traumatized from last year that like I really don't remember a lot, and it really depresses me. And I'm hoping that through just healing and stuff that I will get my mem my memory back. Oh. Yes, it was Magicians. I do want to finish that. I was actually thinking about that the other night and I was like, I gotta message him. Um, because now I have time to do that again. So yeah, we can absolutely finish off uh, Sad Boyfriend Hours. No, sorry, okay, so this is where my brain was going. Um, I was saying that I liked the poop character and then Neil is my current partner and we talk about poop a lot and he's also very sad. But I'm also sad, and I and you were like sad boyfriend hours, and I'm like, why? Because he's pooping? And then I was like, in my head, I'm like, man, pooping's the most humiliating thing a person can do. And I was like, in this, <laughs> in this weird, I'm so sorry, everyone. Uh, <laughs> I'm, um, it's hot. Neil, <laughs> I'm sorry, Neil. I hope he's not here. I'm sorry. Don't break up with me over this. Pooping is funny. Pooping is funny. Don't be sad about pooping. Well, he has, he's eating Taco Bell right now. He might be pooping a lot later. I don't know. Oh, here's some fry update. Phrasing. Don't say it's hot when you're talking about shit. I meant, I meant it's warm. It's very warm. It was, it felt like 34 today. Ugh, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna merge these guys. Merge visible. No! I wanna merge layers. Merge 
layers. Perfect. I have the old ones underneath it. Hee 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 hee. It's Worm. What is Pluto the Poop? No! Don't do this to me. It's no bully zone. No bully zone. Um. Okay, I'm gonna save this. Export. I would be dead. I have my AC turned off right now. I think I already mentioned that. Um, but it's not unbearable. Like I left it running for pretty much the whole day today. So it's still a nice temperature. It's not awful, but it is, I am getting excitable. So it is getting a little, a little warm. Tama. But yeah, this is probably my least favorite part of my job is like setting up everything for social media. Just because like you gotta make stuff for stories, you gotta make stuff for this, you gotta make it for this site, for that site. And it's like, it's fine. It's just like really tedious to format the same picture like a million times. That being said, I've been, um, for those who haven't seen, I, Got to post some of my stuff up in the shop window, and people people bought my my Simpsons flash, so I get to do a Simpsons tattoo um, on Saturday. I'm really excited, and walk-in Wednesdays have been really good uh, to me specifically, because uh, my other two coworkers at the new shop they're they're quite like booked, so it's really nice to kind of have me on board because I can help. Um, you know, take the walk-ins and stuff because we're like. You know, we're, we have to turn a lot of people away, but if you're here, you can do them. And I'm like, yay. And I met someone um, who had been following me already, and they were like, yeah, we were really excited about you. And I'm like, oh. Um, I don't know, leaving the old studio is was and is scary, but it was, it was something that needed to happen. It happened much sooner than I wanted. Um, because financially it's been hurting me, but I know better things are coming and it feels like it's, it's moving like quite fast. So, but yeah, it's, um, it's the one that's based on my enamel pin, um, of Hugo and Bart. I'm very excited to tattoo that. And the new machine, oh, it's beautiful. It's very punchy. Like it's like, boom. Um. I get a lot of lines in first try, whereas like my old machine, I I still liked it, of course, but um, it wasn't, I could just feel that it wasn't as powerful as the one that I'm using now. <laughs> Pi says, I mean, when you compare everything to that studio, it's like when you compare things to the worst alternative. So it's sounding like it's all up here, for, or it's all up from here. True, true. I know that they're, the new shop comes with different complications, but it's nice to be with a team that is sympathetic and, you know, has, has been there. They've been in the exact same position. One of the girls I work with now was actually leaving the old studio to come here as I was getting, like as, or sorry. Why did I apologize for that? It's... Anyways, um, she uh, she was leaving to go work there, and I got her old room, which was really funny. We want, ooh, ooh, SpongeBob. I don't buy a lot of DLC for console stuff, but I, I bought the DLC for Nick, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. 
Because I gotta play, I had to play as Hugh Neutron. That's my man. I also wanted to play as Jenny. We love you, it's true. I like that he was on like social media being like, I'm so ready to be in this game. And then like, they were like, fuck it, put Jimmy Neutron's dad in the game. Pi says his voice actor goes hard. It's true, he's, he's a good little guy. I like him, he seems cool. He will send you to the Shadow Realm, Jimbo. I find this part of the song sounds like kind of sad, but like in like a melancholy way. I think I'm reading too much into SpongeBob music. pasting them on the wrong document. This is why I need you guys to like keep me company because it's so mindless to do this. I almost played Sam and Max, but I was like, no, I have to do work. I gotta get work done. Man, Jimmy Neutron is such a strange show. Um, I... I loved the movie. I saw the movie three times in theaters. Like, I don't know where I got the money to do that as a kid, but I did. And I took, like, different friends to go see it, too. It wasn't, like, the same few people. Oh, I should have drawn the heart on this guy's stomach. I can... I'll put it back. I'll put it back. Pi says, I was, uh, I googled a thing because I convinced myself that the right answer and then I remembered the wrong, but then the right answer I remembered was wrong and stumbled upon a thing I need to show you, sorry in advance. I don't know how I feel about that. That sounds like it might be a bad time. It might be a good time though, it might be funny. Um, let's do the ghost zone. Wait, is this one with the screaming in it? I love that. I hope it's funny. Is it something that we can like watch here? I don't know if I probably can. Should be able to. Okay. Let me save my work. Token Doula says that they saw Jimmy Neutron once and it was a wild experience. Now you gotta see it three or four times. As God intended. I hate that there's like all these pink ones in a row. Whoops. Whoops. It's fine. Watch party when? I was thinking about that the other day. I really wanted to bring back movie nights, but it's just like the last one we did was so disastrous. No one showed up. <laughs> and I was like... It hurt me deeply, but that was when like everyone was starting to like go back to work and stuff. So like it, it's no fault of anyone. It was like things were just changing, um, and people weren't having as much free time. I also maybe picked a bad movie. I don't know, 
but I, I miss that a lot. I miss companionship with my online community. Are we able to do watch parties on YouTube as long as they're not like copyrighted music? Or we just watch videos or something? Hassan does that, does he not? Can we do that? I could be like Hassan. In terms of that, nothing else. No. I'm gonna put on your thing in like two seconds. I just wanted to finish this and save it. Cause Photoshop crashed on me earlier, which is also why I wanted to stream, cause I was mad. I was mad. When am I gonna watch you play this game again, Pi? Hmm? Oh, watch party for Jimmy Neutron. Oh my god, yeah, we definitely have a watch party for Jimmy Neutron. Oh my god, you don't have to ask twice. You can do it like every fucking night. I actually, I don't know if I even own it. You booted it a while ago and thought of me? Oh my god. Good. I'm, I feel honored. This looks like a little... No, it, it looks fine. It's very... I have it on VHS still, maybe. No DVD time for time. Well, I, I got... I got places. I got things. <gasps> Jay! Saying hi before bed. Living your work lately. Oh, thank you, Jay. Thank you. Baby boy. Um, There's a little bit too many blue and purple guys on here. <laughs> Oops. Hmm. I'm still gonna save it and I'll I'll adjust them later. Um <coughs> excuse me. Uh we're gonna export this in the meantime. Export as export as I'm gonna save these guys. Oop. Yeah, save. Yes. Oh yeah, I have to make a fucking sheet to print out at work. Ugh. Okay, no more. Um, save as my computer. Um, Tama Pluto. Maybe I turn these into something. Maybe. Maybe. Um, I am going to switch programs, but in the meantime, I'm going to switch over to... Um... Wait, wait, wait. Um... Oh, yeah. What was the... Let's see, let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna pull up the thing. I'm gonna pull up the thing. Um There we are. There's my browser. Hooray. Ooh. All right, what did you, what did you send me? <sighs> I hate 
you. I hate you. Can we watch two? Wait, wait, wait. Not two cups of orange juice. I love it. Two cups of orange juice in my hand. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, Neil and I, we always say cartoon best. <laughs> Uh, gorillas, uh, trash theory, trash theory. <laughs> Cause like this, this video is great, by the way, please watch it. Um, if you want to know about me and my lore, um, <laughs> but we're just going to listen to the intro really, really fast. Um, because you can see here, it says cartoon bits, uh, as a concept has existed before gorillas, but like. Uh, we were watching, doing a watch party together, and it just loaded up, and all it said, before I cut it out, it just cartoon bad. Wait, 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 wait. Come over here. Black Sabbath. Ready, ready? Wait, wait, it needs to... Cartoon... <laughs> no, it needs to be loud. Just... Cartoon bands. As a... <laughs> cartoon bad. <laughs> cartoon bad. <laughs> we, like, we've, like, <laughs> extended it. So it's cartoon pants. Um, just because it, it gets a bigger laugh out of me. Um, <laughs> yeah, cartoon pants. <laughs> uh, anyways. <coughs> um, let me, let me change this over. Okay. Here we are. So this is what I'm working on for Flash right now. Let me fix that for you. Well, that was fun. That was a nice little moment we had. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm trying to make new Flash. And uh, this is actually based on an old drawing that I did of Abby Bominable. Bominable? Bom Anyways, she looks like this. Monster High. Um, Abby. <laughs> and... Uh, I'm drawing her, obviously, in a more gorillas adjacent style. I just think, uh, I don't really draw like I did. Like, that picture is like, ooh, I was like 23 when I drew it. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out the tusks. They're a little difficult because if you look on her, like, they're also really small. But I think they need to be a little bigger. I think they need to be a little bit bigger. And I tried doing it like the uh, like this way. And it just, it looks like it's hooking into her nose very strange. But I wanted her to have... Like the, the, the Jamie Hewitt nose. Um, so, you know. Uh, but yeah, so I've been working on this. And I'm also, I also have a South Park thing. There were supposed to be like ice cream scoops. But I think I'm going to adjust it a little bit. Um, it doesn't have to. Why does my screen look like that? It's like looking into the abyss. That's South Park characters. Like, does that look so weird on the screen? <laughs> Why is Kenny alive? Well, he's got a black eye. He's got a black eye. Um, where's my thing? I don't, I like how that, oh, that's me. That's me, I don't wanna move me. Why am I not locked? Why am I? There, that looks less weird. Not me adjusting this, only to draw for like a half hour and then not. That looks fine. That looks fine. Um. But yeah, I drew this a while ago. I think I'm just gonna. I don't know if I wanted to do the ice cream thing anymore. So yeah, this is what it's like to design tattoos. Like I want, I want motion to it. I don't want them to be like 
super stacked. Ugh. I don't know, like I like the way that that like Kenny and Stan, or Kyle stands this one. Um, I don't know. Is it time for unrequested tattoo ideas? Maybe. Sometimes people have like the wildest fucking ideas and like it's too good to not like humor. So if, if you wanna do something, sure, go ahead. <laughs> Maybe. Listen, I only have one idea and you did it already. Oh, is it just, was it the roadie one? I would love to redraw that, like, actually in my style. Like, I think there's something happening here with the composition. I think Stan needs to be adjusted. He looks a little too small in comparison to everyone else. But I think there's something happening here. Um, I kind of wanted them, again, to be, like, melted into each other. No... Part of you wants to like. No, I'll just work on Abby. Um, I never did come up with any idea. I was happy with my little pony, Rudy. Aww. Um, what else do I want to listen? Oh, we're so close to finishing Freedom Planet. We should do that. We should also do that. I'm sorry I never played it again because I got traumatized. Um, not by the game. Not by the game. Just by my living situation. Um, I'm like sitting weird and I don't know if that's like translating. Um, But like, I just don't know what to do with the fur. I think this is okay. Like, I don't... I don't know. When it comes to drawing stuff like this, I just kind of do what feels, like, natural. <laughs> Have you considered just being happy? Oh, my God. Die. That's awful. <laughs> it's almost like if, the, if like people could just be choose to be happy like they would I do think there is some truth to that but not in the way that that person is meaning it I do think like there are some people who like just choose to be miserable we make fun of them about that it's been over 10 years oh my god One time I got the ick from a boy because he landed on a YouTube save point, which obviously has like this music in it. Um, and I was explaining to him how cool it was that we landed on a save point and how like I only recently like found out about those and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, you're supposed to like leave a comment and talk about where you are in life, da, da, da. And he was like, that's weird. And then he just like clicked back and I was like, ew, I won't be sleeping with that guy. So. Ew. If you if you get chosen to have a save point, it's it's a it's a cool thing. It is a cool thing. Don't don't be that's weirding it. You're weird. Ew. Can I just say that I hate the way that 2D looks in the fucking strobe light music video? That's what that that stupid 3D of him dancing. Ugh. What an awful style. I 
I'm gonna turn on my AC and I need you guys to let me know if it's too loud. No, I did not say that. I did not say I hate the way that 2D looks. I just said I didn't like the way he looked in Strollblade. Ugly. That's not fair. Don't don't quote me. I love 2D. He's cute. He's hot. He's sexy. Except when they draw him with facial hair. Ugly. Ugly. Hate that. Wait, I'm gonna... That's what the dot 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 is for. No! No, I feel like there's some malicious shit happening. <laughs> I'm gonna turn on my AC. If it's too loud, um, let me know. The back of my knees are sweating in my chair. I just, I just went to, like, adjust, and I was like, Ew. It's on. How does it sound? And if you can only hear it when I'm talking, that's fine. I heard the beep, but that's all. Okay. Okay. What about now? It's also facing away from me, so I think that might help. But yeah, as soon as the back of my knees are, like, sweaty, it's over. I'm angry. It's like wet socks. That also makes me angry. <laughs> Pi says me with my AC and the fan running. Yeah, I can't hear it. If it is loud, though, and other people can't hear it, let me know. I don't think you should be able to hear it, but if you can. You know what I'm thinking of right now? Buckshot roulette. Buckshot roulette. Let's draw them. Let's draw them. Get that big eyes. Mm. Get that big nose. Big nose. I'm also thinking Arby's. You were correct. And you got the. He's always so happy to see me. So cute. Oh. Baby. Baby boy. And he's saying here. And what's that? Oh, he's brought me flowers. Wow. Wow. Thank you, dealer. You are the best boyfriend ever. Um, when I was a teenager, I used to tell people I was allergic to flowers because I hated receiving flowers as a gift because I was always like... It was one of those gifts where it was just like... What do I do with these? I don't know what to... I would much prefer just the card. So I lied. That was me. That's me getting around the problems. Oh, I'm allergic to pollen. I'm not allergic to pollen. I'm not allergic to pollen. I just don't want flowers in my home because I have nowhere to put them. I don't own a vase. I don't own a vase. Hell, when I lived with my ex, we didn't even have an urn for his dad. He lived in um, a grocery bag. <laughs> hey. Like, who has vases anymore? No one. Yeah, um, he, he lived in, um, a reusable cloth, um, Walmart bag. That's where his dad lived after he died. <laughs> Just beg his ass, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, for clarity, everyone, these people sucked. And it's really funny. <laughs> Sometimes when we fought, I'd, like, threaten to eat his dad. I'd be like, I'll eat him, because he's, he's dust. He's, he's ashes. I didn't want to, and I don't think I would have, but I wanted the illusion that I might. Always gotta keep them on their toes. Always gotta keep them on their toes.
Is that still cannibalism? I don't know. That's a good question. Where's Fry? Oh, he's sleeping. Tomorrow, do you guys want to play some games? Want to play some games tomorrow? Tomorrow we should play some games! Depends when. I don't, you know, play some games. Actually, you and I should figure out when we want to watch Sad Boyfriend. Have you and I watched Pushing Daisies, Pi? We should watch Pushing Daisies together. That can be our next Sad Boyfriend Hours. We have not. Would you like to? Don't mind me, just making plans with my friends. Is that it? It's just... We have a long list, but sure. Okay, I don't know. I'd be down for going through the list. These songs are only two minutes long. I listen to them on loop. I shouldn't be complaining. Also, also, if any of you guys want to play Risk of Rain 2 with me, um, I've been long list two shows. They're two long shows. Well, not pushing Daisy. And we're almost done magicians, but you know. But yeah, if anyone wants to play Risk of Rain 2, let me know. Or Borderlands 1, because I was in the middle of playing it with my ex, and well, I will never talk to him again, but I would still like to play. I still like to play. Ooh, you know what? You and I should watch Twisted Metal. I want to watch Twisted Metal. I already watched it, but I will watch it again. I want to watch Twisted Metal. Oh my god, Pi! I thought of you the other day. I went to Woodbine Mall, which is like this really cursed dead mall in Toronto. And they had... Uh, Star Trek Next Generation commemorative plate of, like, the Doctor? I think it was the Doctor. And I thought of you, and I was like, I wish I could get this to him, like, give this to him. But, like, everything was, like, it's weird. Maybe. I'll send you a picture. I'll send, hell, I'll send you the video. I took video of it. Um, but it was one of those, it was like the whole mall was operating on the honor system. Nobody worked there. It was weird. I made a reel about it, if anyone wants to see it. It's like a cute little music video. Um, and there's dinosaur buttholes in it. Um, so, you know, if you like dinosaurs or, or butthole enjoyer, um, or dinosaur buttholes in general, um, I'd like specifically, they're there. And I wish I was joking. What else do we got? We got Freedom Planet. Ooh, show me your butthole! Show me your butthole! Oh my god. I miss when Channel 5 News was like still doing that. It got a little too serious, which is like fine. But I don't really care about Andrew Callahan anymore. Unless he's at Talladega. Show me your butthole! There's also some stuff he's covered, and I was like, oh, I didn't want to watch that. No shade to him, it was just like... I find, like, after last year, I'm very sensitive to, like, content. 
I I think it's good. I think it's good that he's trying to like actually do real journalism on like interesting things um, or like subcultures and stuff like that. Um, I can respect that. I, I'm drawing this too fluffy. I'm drawing this like my old style. I need to draw it. I literally drew it down here. It needs to be... Because hers is... Yeah, okay. I don't love what's going on here. Ooh, geometry dash. Geometry dash? Geometry dash. And unknowingly commit federal crimes. Um, you know what's crazy is that he did like a, um, a, what do you call it? Like he did a thing where he went to this like tech house where everyone hung out and got drunk and high. Um, and like my friend uh, hangs out there. And I was like, what? And my friend's like, holy shit. The place I hang out with is on this video, and I'm like, I watch this guy. That friend gets up to some shit, I'll, I'll say that. He's always like, you should come, and I'm like, with what money? And he goes, right, because I don't have money. I don't have money to travel. Gotta change how that looks. Do, 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 do. I think once we hit the two hour mark, I'm gonna call it just because I'm EP. It's very warm. I want to play Sam and Max. Never mind, I wanna listen to cowboy music. Pumpkin Cowboy definitely counts as cowboy music. Dust and pencil company music. What does that mean? Oh my god. Um, my mom brought over a bunch of stuff. She goes, I don't know if you want this. Um, I just had it laying around. She brought me over Vigilante 8 Second Offense box. So now I have my manual and box. It's complete in box now, you guys. She kept the box. It's about a cowboy and it's not country. I love that. I like listening to cowboy music that's not actually cowboy music. Modern cowboy music, just about cowboys. John Wayne by Lady Gaga is kind of a cowboy music adjacent. She sings about wanting a man like John Wayne, but I think she she means like 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 his cowboy antics, not like him being like racist and shitty. I think she, I think that's what she meant. At the bridge. Um. Bah, 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 bah. Do 
you guys want to play Spyro sometime? Do you guys want to play Spyro? Do you have any games on your phone? <laughs> Oh, there's a trivia quiz show that's happening in Canada, and I'm going to apply for it, you guys. I'm excited. It's it's all about um, pop culture, and I think I think I have a chance. Yeah, it's because I love Spyro. Duh, that's why you see me playing it all the time. Yeah, when I say do you guys want to play, I meant do you want to watch me play Spyro? Do you want to like be there cheering me on or booing me? You can boo me if I'm playing bad. I think that would be funny. Just type in the chat, boo! Anyone else in the chat following Jojo Siwa? Jojo Siwa! Um, her and her, her antics lately. She got booed at Pride. Uh, which I think is kind of amazing. Who the hell gets booed? <laughs> I do. Do I want to boo? No, I think it would hurt your feelings. Ah, thank you. Um, hmm. I'm pretty warm. I think I'm going to go sit under the fan and just call it for now um but i want to try it in either stream today or or sorry tomorrow or wednesday we'll see what tomorrow i'm going out tomorrow um uh i might stream early in the day i don't know how many of you will be available it it depends um oh my god wait 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 before before i wrap up anything i got mystery mail key today i have no idea where my package is they didn't give me a proper mail key. And when I asked my neighbor about it, she was rude about it. That's not a mail key. And I said, I know. Have you ever received a key like this? You know how, like, they have, like, the... The kitten distribution thing where when cats just find you? Well, mail keys just find me. It doesn't have a, a tag on it. I don't know what locker it goes to. I tried it in all the lockers. So I don't know. And my landlord literally just was like, good luck. And I was like, I don't like this mystery. I just want my my magazine so that's what it's like to be me right now mystery um anyways i love you guys i'm gonna go and i'm gonna cool down and i will see you later this week i uh, miss you all definitely hit me up i'm more available now um in terms of gaming and watching stuff i would love to do that more now that i'm in a better place um, I love you. Thank you so much for joining. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Mwah.